everybody welcome back to about the popcorn if you are new my name is stephanie thank you all for clicking on this video we have another trailer for terminator dark fate so let's go ahead and check it out talk talk fast My name is Sarah Connor. August 29th, 1997. It was supposed to be Judgment Day. But I changed the future. Saved three billion lives. Enough of a resume for you. No. You may have changed the future. But you didn't change our fate. you before almost human i am human just enhanced why do you care what happens to her because i was her Stop! i can see you're very upset mm -hmm. i'm going to help you protect the girl nobody else is gonna die because of me Alright, so we obviously get more than we did from the first trailer. Um, I think I'm actually one of the very few people that actually enjoyed the first trailer. Um, I, a lot of people were not very happy with it, um, that they didn't show them too much. And this one, obviously, we get more of the tone of where they're going with the whole movie. Um, but to me, I mean, it's a Terminator movie, you guys. Like, there's five other ones, so like, where exactly do you want this to go because ultimately it's all gonna have the same concept i don't know i don't get it i mean i i didn't find that it lacked thereof i felt that there was just enough this one obviously though does give you uh more of where it's trying to go with the movie i did notice though there um the new terminator seems to be having more of a personality than any of the other bad guy terminators are usually very like mm, but you know that part where he was um going into uh the uh is it a prison or like a detention facility or whatever um he did um have some sort of a personality in there um i did get a few little things here and there that i think immigration might be a part in this film um i did see that there were some people you know in the cages coming out the thing with this one though i'm a little bit off on the timeline um but i mean i i guess i kind of have to remember and we all kind of have to remember that this one's technically going to be part three and from my understanding is that we're supposed to forget all the other shitty you know uh, terminator movies that there are and it's just gonna be this is the third installment maybe in this uh movie arnold's gonna be like part human and that's why he's older i really don't know how he's being brought back when he was brought back because i mean he seems to be like chilling in this like cabin out in the wilderness so uh, that same robotic uh, feel to you like you did in T1 and T2 and, and also in T3 they have the signature leather jacket and sunglasses so it kind of makes me uh, think that he's just kind of been living possibly in the present time until he's 
was called upon because he knew he was going to be called maybe when they brought him too far into the past and you know he just kind of had to wait until he got to where he needed to be at the right time um that might be where the storyline goes with that and when it comes to natalie reyes character which is going to be a uh, danny in in the movie which is the girl that they're protecting and sarah keeps saying that that was me so now i'm wondering where this girl you know what is her significance like danny herself is going to be the leader who is going to you know be part of the resistance or whatever group that there is now that's trying to put a stop to terminators or if she's going to be you know carrying the future kid of whoever's going to stop or if she's going to be the wife of uh john connor checked on imbd and he is actually um listed um so he's going to come on this movie i just don't know where uh, because this is now the second trailer they haven't heard or seen him so maybe at the final trailer we're gonna finally get him or you know maybe he's um unless you know they have him captured for whatever reason so now when it comes to grace um the new terminator when they were showing her little like cut when they were opening her up i went oh my sister's not gonna like that because they have like little holy a uh, honeycomb situations going and she's one of those that's afraid of holes so and you may not want to watch this movie because oh we know what let me stop because there may be other like subscribers out there who are afraid of holes i do apologize you guys that was more for my sister because like little sister torturing the big sister but i do apologize for who do have uh that phobia I how many years exactly have passed between they never I haven't really said i mean they didn't mention that you know 1990 whatever was supposed to be judgment day um so i wonder if in dark fate if we are in present time 2019 or are we like way in the future they have border patrol i mean and if it's going with what's going on right now it might actually be 2019 but that do you guys think that i should watch salvation and genocide well i guess give salvation another chance and genocide or just go ahead and just like not even worth it if you guys recommend or believe that i should watch it i mean i'll give it a shot you know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about this trailer do you like it better than than the first one are you looking forward to dark fate are you like hyped to go and see this are you fans of genocide and salvation let me know down there but before you guys click out of this video please don't forget to like it subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye